It's remarkable. Oh shit! Yes! You know, Mike Golick Sr. did a radio show with uh, the Mike and Mike show, I think. I think it was the Mike and Mike show. Mike Greenberg, douchebag. They had a falling out. I'm on Mike Golick's side, obviously. But anyway, so he did a radio show with Mike Greenberg for a long time. 20 years, something like that. A really long time. Four hours a day, five days a week. That's 20 hours a week of talking, trying to fill the time. Now, they say four hours a day. But really, what we're really talking about is about 31 to 40 minutes, maybe. There's a lot of fucking commercials, a lot of promos and shit like that. So actual talking time, probably about 35 minutes of talking time. Times four, times five. Okay, so that's not so bad, but still. It's a lot of time. If people think it's easy to talk for hundreds of hours, right? Like, you know, 20 hours a week. People think it's easy, but, you know, I, I've never done the radio talk show. But you were, you may think you're prepared. You may think you have a lot of shit to say, but you run out of shit to say really fast. I just, I believe the people who tell me. I know people who've done I know people who podcast. They run out really fast. That's why they have guests. That's why they have topics. That's why they read the news and they react to the news. I could probably fill an hour a day just with reminiscences and talking about my dad and talking about filmmaking and just talking about writing. I could probably fill an hour a day. Four hours a day, five days a week, 365 days a year. Well, you know, not that many with weekends, but you know what I'm saying. It's a lot. What's my point? Where am I going with all this? What's this got to do with Mad Men? Well, Mike Golick's quote, the one I remember the most, was... Trey Wingo, who he eventually became a host with, uh, they did a new show called Wingo, uh, Golik and Wingo, I think. Yeah, Golik and Wingo. Uh, Trey was roasting him one time about some stupid thing they do, they were doing. It was like they were ranking um, the best runner-ups or some, some shit. It was some stupid sports thing, right? And Mike Golik said, look, we were just trying to fill the four hours. And that's always resonated with me because not as far as like content production goes, because that's obvious. You, you can tell the people are just, they're just trying to fill the hours, right? No, what I'm talking about is people are trying to just, they're just trying to get through the fucking day. They're just trying to live with themselves. They're just trying to get through a fucking day, trying to get through a fucking week, trying to get through a fucking month, trying to get through a fucking lifetime, Right. They're just trying to make it day to day, hour to hour, minute to minute. That's what I feel like with Pete. Pete's just trying to fucking get through a day, man. Nothing satisfies this son of a bitch. He's just not happy, man. I don't know if it's biological or if it's emotional, if it's mental. Like, what is going on here? Like, does he have some chemicals out of whack in his body? Like, in today's modern medicine age, they could give him a pill and he'd be fine? The fuck is up with this dude, man? We know he comes from rich parents. We know he had a falling out with his father. And then his father died. We know his mother was a miserable cunt. Okay, and I don't think his brother's very cool. What is up with this dude? Why is he not happy? I'm fascinated because it's easy to just dismiss him as a douchebag. And I have for five seasons. But I kind of want to do a deep dive. What is up with this motherfucker, man? What is up with him? I really do get the sense that he's just trying to, like, he, he's very good at what he does, and I think that's just because he's just trying to fill his day, man. He's just trying, trying to get through a day. He's trying to get through a week. You know? <laughs> this motherfucker, we've seen him make some horrible-ass fucking decisions. Let's, can we, can we do a list of, like, the fucking, sh I could do a top ten list of his shittiest decisions. And there'd be room left over for, like, a, an honorable mention of about another five. Dude. <laughs> He just, the fuck is up with Pete, man? It's just, it boggles the mind. Like, I literally want to go to his TV Tropes page and get the character description. Maybe they can give me some insight. The fuck is up with this dude, man? What is wrong? He has everything he could possibly fucking want. He has a kid, right? He has a wife. He has a successful job. He's a partner at 32 or whatever fuck he is, approximately 32. He's got a car, prestige, friends, 
You know, I mean, it's just, what is he lacking? What What is missing in his life? I don't understand. I have nothing in my life. I've even lost my house. I have nothing, right? And I'm happier than this son of a bitch. I'm happier on a daily basis than this son of a bitch has ever been. And he's got everything material you could possibly... He's got everything material, physically, socially, financially. Everything you could possibly fucking want. And he's not happy. Let's just fucking do this. <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, January Jones is still considered a regular. And... We haven't fucking seen her in... Uh, I just saw Peyton Liss as a guest star. But we haven't seen her, I think, what? One episode all season long? Maybe two? God damn, that was a burnt-ass toast. What the fuck, man? Boy, you get thrown out a window you try to give me some toast like that. The fuck is... What is going on here? You're weighing out your food? That's some fucking uh, monk shit. Oh, okay. Wow. She's actually in a fucking episode. Okay, so she's been losing weight. That's what I was supposed to be Remember how she was overweight at the end of the beginning of the season? She was either almost getting ready to deliver a baby, or she had just delivered a baby. And now, um, two months of filming time later, she's actually able to come in and do some episodes, right? She'll probably be in every episode the rest of the season. That must be what's going on. She must have had a baby. And so she came in for one episode of being pregnant, probably. To do a fat storyline. And now, it's been a couple of months. She's been working out. She dropped the baby, you know, just fucking shit out the baby. Working out, hitting the gym and shit, losing the fucking baby weight, you know. And, and now she's, and character wise, they wrote this right into her fucking character. She's been losing weight like a motherfucker. Weighing her fucking cheese, eating her burnt ass fucking toast. Man, that'll make me want to just fucking lose weight by itself. You see that burnt ass shit? Man, isn't there like, can't you get like charcoal poisoning? Don't they say it's bad like on a pizza? If you burn the bottom of a pizza, you're not supposed to eat it because like charcoal is actually bad for you to eat. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, and the grapefruit. Yeah, you know, she's on the fucking grapefruit diet and shit. Yeah. So good for you, Jen. Right? She's, she's getting this fucking regular ass money. They got to pay her for every episode, whether she's in them or not, just because she shits out a baby. Good work if you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they're going to be working the fuck out of her for the rest of the season. What are we on? Episode 9? Yeah. Episode 9? Yeah, oh yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Double hours. They're going to be working the fuck out of her to make up that money. <laughs> Mark my words. I bet she's got a major storyline to every fucking episode the rest of the season. Yeah. Silence. Morning, Morning all. What's up, douchebag? <laughs> it's all the partners in the elevator, right? That good news could What's work. up with Lane? Is I he over doing Friends right now or some shit? Night with friend Victor at the New York Times. Going to get a paper route? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're doing some literary <laughs> Cooper liked that one. Sterling Campbell Draper Price. Can I help you? Damn. He was, he had sense of humor earlier, but then he just glared at Roger. What the fuck, man? It stinks. Look at that cough, cough, pack, cack. Get that shit out of my face. Yeah, he threw that away. I saw that. Oh, shit. Look at all the great work you've done as creative director. <laughs> Look at all these voices, all this talent. Yeah, you say it. We're still suffering for it. Might as well get something Yeah, on. why not? Makes you self-conscious. Now we're going to see why he's pissed Look, off. Look, JC, you golf with me. You're going to win every time. No, because I'm terrible. <laughs> Dude, you got a meeting. Okay. Just kick his leg. Why? Don't you think we're capable of doing this oh, on our shit. own? okay. But this requires your finesse and, what frankly, finesse? your Semitic wife. Oh, that finesse. Jane and I are getting divorced. Already? <laughs> Boy, that's fucking hateful. That is fucking hateful, man. Yeah, you can bring her in off the bench. The fuck is wrong you with you? You can't lick. Three seconds she's being a psycho. Whining is not going to get you anything. God damn. <laughs> I'm crying because I need them so badly for my family tree project. <laughs> she cracks me up, Beth. I like your little fork, buddy. Boys. Whatever your name Bye. is. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting cracked up by that, Beth. Because he never gets any fucking lines, that's why. He just spoke more th this episode, right that scene, than he has the entire fucking episode. The entire season. It's got to be convenient to be able to go to the office when he lives in the city, right? 
He couldn't have done that. Just leave the fucking house and go to his, his office and come back. That would have been a fucking, you know, six-hour trip, man. This is probably only 20 minutes away. <laughs> the fuck? I guess it's all the different things you can do with Snowball, huh? They're probably tying their shoes. Yeah, we ain't seen Francis in a while, man. I thought you could park anywhere. Henry, anywhere. whatever his name is. I'm not an ambulance. We're double God parked. Damn. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> So fucking hateful. New York, New York, right? Why are you trying to look skinny, man? He don't give a shit. Bobby, Gene, mom's here. Man, Gene don't give a shit. He don't even understand English yet. Why are you snooping, motherfucker? You're supposed to stay your ass out in the hallway. Trying to see how good the decorations are, huh? Yeah, they got the fucking pad, man. Look at this shit. I'd live there. I like how they have that whole seating arrangement, then there's one chair off of the fucking... See that right there to the left? One chair. That, that's the anti-social, motherfucker. That's where I'd be sitting. I ain't trying to sit next to nobody, motherfucker. Meow. She wants to hit that. <laughs> How's the peeping, Betty? How's the peeping? <laughs> We were waiting. Yeah, and I was peeping. And Henry's double parked. She smash. I'm sorry, I lost track of the time. Gone slate. This is quite an apartment. Yeah, I was admiring it. Among other things. I think you've seen most of it. Can I see the bedroom? Daddy was supposed to bring the colored pencil. <laughs> I'll so buy pissed. you some. Let's go. This colored pencil situation is fucking serious, man. Bye. Man, Gene don't give a shit. Whoever the middle kid is, he don't care. Irritating. She might care. Look at her, she's so fucking irritated. <laughs> Where's my goddamn colored pencils? Don really don't give a shit about the kids, man. You get them every two weeks. We they look at me during sales. the office all fucking day, man. The fruit. Dick. On the beach. These days, I guess this would be an email, wouldn't it? A snowball's chance in hell. They don't melt. They're refreshing for the damn. Oh, dude. What the fuck are you doing, man? The snowball is the sin that gets you into hell. They're sinful. <laughs> man, you must be smashed. The fuck is that? <laughs> damn. So much for your diet. Look, I don't give a shit. Look, look at me. Obviously, I don't give a shit. I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> She's going through it, man. Been there, done that. <laughs> and each one has a thought bubble above them. Water, 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 snowball. Hey, I like it. What's the line? Doesn't need one. Yeah, it does. Well, well, if you want. Maybe some kind of cryptic joke. I already have a joke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck off. It's Ginsburg, man. Ginsburg's getting all the work. And that picture is someone getting hit in the face with a snowball. Uh, not the drink. And when I say someone, I mean a cop, school teacher, Shut with glasses, up, man. Stop business man, Indian chief. It's awful. And maybe a pig. <laughs> he likes that? Why a pig? What the fuck is wrong with him? Everybody left. Great, so that's a way to go. Yeah, a way to go. A sucky ass way to go. Oh, right, that's true. If she don't like that, <clears throat> mischievous smile on his face. Oh, he's excited about this. Snowball in this. front of the flames of hell. <laughs> she looks fucking horrified. In your head, you hear his voice. We're not yes. promoting the devil, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's terrible. That's actually good. I'm gonna have to go with Peggy on this one. Damn impressive you could not write for so long and come back with that. God damn, man. Holy shit, dude. Thank you. He's coming for the crown. It's great. <laughs> Peggy look horrified. <laughs> God damn, I love this show. The character, I just love the character so much. I mean, the characters are so fucking three-dimensional, man. 
there's so many shows they just don't feel that way. Sopranos, that's why we love The Sopranos. It wasn't the plot. There was barely any fucking plot. It was a characterization. I mean, the fucking FBI is going after Tony for seven seasons, and they never lay a glove on the motherfucker. He never even sees the inside of a fucking courtroom. So obviously it wasn't a plot. It was the characters. Three dimensional. Man, these motherfuckers are four dimensional. As with Sopranos, so goes Mad Men. These characters are fucking four dimensional. Five dimensional, goddammit. Just dimensions coming out your ass, man. That's just how fucking great they are. <laughs> you just want to hang out with these people, you know? I never understood that about this show. Everybody talked about this show. I heard about it all the time. But I never understood it was because of the characters, man. On every, we love Lost. People still watch Lost now, even though they're inside five at the endings. You know, watch Lost Explained. They'll explain all that shit. But even if you don't watch Lost Explained, it's the characters. They're fucking five-dimensional, man. I'm just saying. How was your week, everybody? It stank. Betty? <laughs> Betty, uh, speak up, motherfucker. Well, I had a bad week oh, out there. Oh, shit. After having fucking hell, I'm a fucking idiot, man. I'm so busy making my little jokes. Yeah, I know this has been a complaint from commenters and shit. But hey, man, it's what I do. I'm, I look for the joke first. I do it in life. I don't just do it here. This is the way I am. And I talked about my backstory is that... <laughs> backstory. You know what I mean. I used to do this with Dad for 20 years. Dad couldn't really go anywhere, man. He couldn't do anything. All he could do is sit around and watch TV. So I'd watch TV with him. I would crack jokes. He would crack jokes. We would pause it. We would talk. And we keep watching. Everything I do here on this channel is what I used to do for Dad way before YouTube even existed. YouTube's only been around 15 years. I was doing this shit for 25 years. You know, I moved back here to be with Dad in 96. So from 96 on, he retired, I think, around 2000. So really around 2000 is when it really started happening. YouTube didn't, didn't start until, what, 2005, 2006? So before reaction channels were a fucking thing, I was doing this shit exactly as we saw here, right? So, I've always been cracking jokes, is my point. But sometimes you can be so busy looking for the joke, you can miss the forest for the trees, right? <laughs> she wasn't looking at Megan because she was trying to fuck! She was looking at Megan because Megan was skinny, and she's not. God damn, man, I, why did I fucking see that? Never crossed my mind. Because I guess because I, I don't think that way, right? I don't look at other people like, oh my god. Look what they have and what I don't. Man, That's I'm just not that kind of person, right? So it's sometimes I forget other people are that, that way. They look at somebody else and are jealous or they're envious, right? That's what was going on there. She wasn't trying to smash. She wasn't talking about, meow. She was talking about, no, I feel bad. Sorry, Betty, I should have picked up on that. <laughs> Could you stand up, sweetheart? Yeah, stand up and share with the class. Look at her all self-conscious. Um, <laughs> I like her. I mean, she she could be angry or whatever. She's a terrible mother, by the way. But I do like her. Thank you, Betty. Anyone else? Catherine with a K. Uh, sorry, I'm Catherine with a J. The way he looks at Vicky, I know what that Damn. means. Oh, okay. Who was she to him, Mr. Collins? <laughs> I've heard her name, too. That was good delivery. You fooled me. <laughs> whatever this is, is true. <laughs> She's insane. She needs a drink. They want you to be emotional. You, heard you haven't feelings. even seen the show. Come for an acting lesson, but thank you for making me more <laughs> nervous. Come on, we used to God have damn, this man. together. That's just hateful. And that chuck in a tenderloin. You know what? It's just so easy for you from your throne on. Oh shit. Some of us act for a living God and damn. we put tables when we don't. What do you want me to say? Yeah. That I killed for an audition of this piece of crap? I would. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just say I'm nervous. I haven't had. Yeah, I like to bite, bite the hand that feeds me. But she's she made points so. though. I've got to go. I've got a shift. Yeah, work. I'm actually doing work. <laughs> I like this chick. She tells it like it is. Thanksgiving. Something sweet. Oh, uh, you're not invited anymore, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> After that conversation we just had, your dismissal will be in the mail. Michael, can you keep a secret? Nope. 
Yeah, he's a motor mouth, that's for goddamn sure. It will involve a client dinner. And murder. <laughs> he's always looking for the joke. You're not going well. to dinner. <laughs> what I need from you is a couple of ideas, Shepherds. You assume that I'm Jewish. Stop talking. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't know. I want to keep a secret from Don. You know, Don. You're not going to because well, you're a motor mouth. Yeah, but why? Well, Michael. When a man hates another man. Very, very much. <laughs> Him and Pete. You really do hate Campbell. I don't devote the energy. <laughs> to <that people. laughs> yes, he does. Mr. You hate this motherfucker. <sighs> Say... A hundred now and a hundred Monday morning. You wipe your He's ass with 20 bucks. God damn. Wipe your ass with carrying less cash. <laughs> That's a running gag for the show. It's hilarious. I'm sorry. I can't eat fish five times a week. Man, that sounds great to me. I love fish. You better take it out. She knows what she's talking about, motherfucker. She did the finger test, whatever the fuck that is. Well, for a fried up a steak for a fucking midnight snack, goddamn. I like the way he thinks. Me, I just get a couple crackers and some cheese, right? Sweetheart, it's got nothing to do with you. Man, if she's just in steak, like, you're not going to gain weight from that shit. That's just pure protein, man. Rocky can't run. He's divorced. Nobody cares anymore. He just got reelected governor. Who the fuck is Rocky besides the boxer, man? Hell no. Why are you trying to tempt her? Good night, I like think. I said, though. New Can't day. Count it as tomorrow. New day. Welcome to Drama World. What the fuck is this? It's not real life in there. It's better. No, it doesn't have to be. There's only one thing better. I mean, than it looks life. dope as hell, but what the fuck is this? That was a. What do you want? <laughs> God damn! I want to have dinner. Is that a good idea? Yeah, we might end up fucking. When we took LSD, you swore to me. That you would always oh, be shit. there for me. Stop telling me things you said that. <laughs> I know I didn't promise to remarry right away just to save you alimony. <laughs> <No. laughs> what a dick. He actually said that to her. Why don't you ask Joni? She's a professional yeah, something. Seen better. Because they're dying to meet you. You'd like them. Just tell her she's Jewish. Oh, are you? <laughs> I want you to buy me a new apartment. God damn, man. I don't owe you that fucking much. What's wrong with the one you're in? Your mother is my landlord. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. It has a lot of memories, and it's painful to be here. <laughs> Fine, whatever. This is the most expensive dinner in history. <laughs> really? Because I found the perfect one. <laughs> she is working this month. Fine. She is working this month. Have your lawyer tell my lawyer what time dinner is. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like one of us should say thank you. <laughs> she should... She's definitely the one that should fucking say thank you. <laughs> God, like I said, he has screen chemistry with everybody he's in a fucking scene with. Everybody, man. It's remarkable. Oh, shit! What yes! Are you doing? I did not expect to see her again, man. I swear to God. Damn, she's locking the door, too? Maybe this is a fancy scene. You can't be here. I missed you. Damn. It's, this I... has got to be a fancy, man. There's no fucking way. You. She don't even know where he works, man. He's dreaming. This motherfucker, I'm telling you, he's going to fucking, he's going to risk it all for this bitch. And then I saw you in the New York Times Sunday Magazine. Yeah, I'm fucking right. He's dreaming. This, there's no way I buy this. Look at this. Coming in here like this, getting past the secretary, getting through the lobby. There's no fucking way, man. I don't believe it. That's what I fucking thought. Yes. I'm starting to call this shit. Boom. Dumbass. He is obsessed with this bitch. You can check it. Yeah. I just might do that. Keep talking shit, kid. All they care about is the names. Well, I have questions. Do Megan and Henry get branches? No. You carry this around with you every day? Yeah, what the fuck, kid? That's all the lines he never gets to say. The fuck is this? Is this what you're doing in class? Oh, shit. No. Well, it's very nice. Although, I don't know why he's smiling. Hey, he has a good attitude about being killed. Oh, <laughs> my